Hey everybody, how you doing? Well, here we go again, America. I, I just have to really get this out of the way. AMPIS, the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, the great organization that is over the Oscars, you know, the Academy Awards, managed to add zero. Zero black actors or producers or public relations people to, you know, increased number of African Americans represented on the Board of Governors, and yet they managed to drop one, and most notably that one that they dropped was Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah, Whoopi Goldberg. And this happened after a 2023 Academy Awards that saw no black actor nominated in any of the leading role categories. Not So it seems that a term that I hate to use, Oscar is still so white, but I feel compelled to use is extending to new Board of Governors editions for this year. On top of that, among the 20 acting nominees, only Angela Bassett, the great Angela Bassett, you know, who played Tina Turner at one point in her career, rest in peace, Tina Turner, uh, was the only black woman nominated for her supporting role in Black Panther. And she didn't win. Should have. Nothing against Jamie Lee Curtis, who I love from the Halloween movies. And I didn't see the movie that she won in, admittedly. But Angela Bassett is a goddess. And yet she lost to Jamie Lee Curtis. And Danielle D Detweiler of Till did not see the best actress finalist list at all even though her performance was as critically acclaimed as, well, the one for that movie that happened to get snuck in there because Friends used, you know, social media to pump it up, which I thought was illegal, right? But I digress, okay? But anyway, she didn't make it. Whoopi Goldberg, who was a producer until, voiced her displeasure. And now, strangely, Whoopi Goldberg is not a board member. So here's what happened. On Thursday, Ampus released its list of those elected to the 2023-2024 Board of Governors. They were joining re-elected governors, Rob Debau, Ava DuVernay, Linda Flowers, Lena Howell-Taylor, Stephen Rivgen, and Deborah Zane, among them, Ava DuVernay, African-American, okay? New additions. Wendy Aylesworth, Danny Dielstein, Richard Gibbs, Jinko Kahl, Galinga Ivanov, Simon Kilmurray, Hannah Mingella, da Daniel Orlandi, Lou Diamond Phillips, Dania Stevens, and Mark P. Slochtinger were all new while Ellen Curris returned. Of them, none of them African American. Zero. None. And Lou Diamond Phillips. By the way, some media writers wrote it. Essentially replaced Whoopi Goldberg. Now, congratulations to Blue Diamond Phillips becoming the first Filipino ever to serve on the Board of Governors. But at the place of Whoopi Goldberg? And I really don't think the Academy intended that way. I think the media, or some in the media, looked at it that way. I am nothing against Blue Diamond Phillips at all. Well, except he kind of knew a good friend of mine, but whatever. That's something against. She was gorgeous. I don't blame it. But I digress. Uh, point is that no African-American representation and indeed a minus of one. A minus of one. Okay? And that's on top of what happened at the Oscars. So, you know, from a diversity inclusion perspective, yeah, Lou Diamond Phillips, great addition. And let's get it out of the way. Kalina Ivanov is the first Bulgarian ever to be named to the Board of Governors. But black faces, nowhere to be seen. Okay? What is going on with the Academy Awards where it seems like hard won gains, like, for example, Sher Boone Isaacs being the president twice? And I think Ms. Isaacs is a great lesson for how to work in and with the academy 
because she served in the public relations branch for 21 years. Uh, but she was almost the exception that proves the rule. Why doesn't the Academy get over the rule that says that a black person is because they're black, not worthy of being celebrated by the Academy. That's the message that is sent. It shouldn't be overwhelmingly white like that. That's not right. But that's the way it is right now. Subscribe to Zenny62 and bookmark oaklandnewsnowblog.com. Hey, expand the board. You know, just, but just blankety, 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 blank. You know, I can understand if it was the 40s, the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, okay? But come the 90s and through the 21st century, yeah, you got to change. Now, some of you might say, well, hey, the Academy is 25% of color. But the Academy, if you take a look at how we've evolved as a country, the Academy should be 50% of color not 25%. That ends this broadcast.